I'm working on my 2002 Buick LeSaver and the problem I'm having is no heat coming out of the driver's side, just the passenger side. And it's only got one temperature control on the dash, but there is one on the passenger side on the door. And when you move the one on the dash, I can see the actuator in behind the glove box rotating, so I know it's working. But I wasn't sure, and I didn't think there was one on the driver's side. But I found out that there is. I'll show it to you real quick. It's down under the dash. And it is right... Hard for me to see through the viewfinder, but... It's right up there. Now the problem is... This is the new one I just bought. So it goes in kind of like this. And there's a bolt that goes here. And there's a little, oh, sorry. You can't see when I'm doing that. Let me try that again. There's a bolt here. There's a hole here, but it's not a bolt. It's just a little knob that sticks out on the bracket up there. And there's a bolt up here. Well, it sits in there like this. And... The way it's, no, yeah, it's just like that. This bolt, you can't see it. You have to just feel for it. And there's a tube running right in front of it. Some kind of a vent tube. I don't even know what that goes to. I thought it was electrical wiring harness, but it's not. Anyway, this is a booger. I tried, I took that, removed the bolts from that seat. I made a video on that. I was going to push that seat all the way back. And then I thought about doing it with this one too, but it doesn't really help. I tried laying across the seat sideways. That helped a lot. I got one of the bolts out. You can see it sitting back there. It's just a really tight spot. So what I finally ended up doing is I crawled in the car and then I laid my feet up over the center console up that way. And I got down my head down under here where I could actually see what the heck I was doing. And that made it a lot easier. Now the problem I'm having is getting that second bolt out. Once it gets loose, the ratchet just spins back and forth. It's not taking it out. So what I did, I grabbed my, what do they call it, nut driver or whatever. So I'm going to use this, put the socket on it. And then I'm going to try to feed that up through there sideways between the brackets and the wiring and see if I can get on that screw and get it backed out of there. And then I can get the actuator out, put the actual, this new actuator in. And I tested that actuator by, I turned the car on and I pushed the temperature control button and the actuator's not moving. And that little white part right there should be spinning back and forth open and close the damper so I'm assuming that it's broke it's no longer functioning so that's why it's not letting any hot air onto the driver's side I'm trying to sell this car that's why I bought it and the, there's a guy interested in it but I don't think he's interested in the cold driver's side so I'm hoping this will take care of it I have flushed the trans the uh, heater core twice checked the fluid levels the actuator on the other side is working, and I think it's actually been replaced because one of the screws is missing. Unless it was that way from the factory, but these are known to go bad, and evidently the one went bad, now the other one went bad. So anyway, if you have to do this, just lower your seat down as far as you can, scoot it back as far as you can, lower the back down as far as you can, and then you can lay on the seat, and you can accomplish your mission. In fact, I think I'm going to just take, sorry, you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm going to lay that back down so I have more room for my legs to go back there. Anyway, I hope this helps you. It's kind of a booger. There's this clip. Oh, this one was for the dash cover under here. Let's see if I can get you in there. See this wiring harness right here? You've got to pull that red tab out, and then once you do that, you push on this side. 
and that'll pop out of the actuator. Took me a while to figure that out. I was trying and trying to get it and I didn't want to break it. But pull that red tab out and then you squeeze it and it'll pop out of there pretty easy. Hope this helps you guys. Have a good one.